Hello everyone, we will continue the topic control break statements or control break events and in the previous video we applied two control break statements or events inside the loop. First one is at first and second one is at last. Now it depends upon our requirement. Now we will understand how to apply at new field name and at end of field name. Now firstly, we will go for the recap of our requirement. What is our requirement? Suppose if I am going for order header table, I will go to the contents of order header table. So what I want, what we want? We want sum of total amount based upon payment mode, payment mode. And we took two columns. First one is payment mode. Second one is total amount. Then we sorted the internal table. Suppose I will sort the data. We sorted based upon payment mode. So I will sort. Now I will sort. You can see. All C, all D, all N. What the result we want? C, I want to make some. D, I want to make some. N, I want to make some. C, how many records? Four records. D, how many records? Four records. N, how many records? Two records. So what the result we want? C, 600, D, 1400, and 1000. This is what we want. Now, we will firstly, firstly, make use of add new field name event, and then I will come on to this part. Suppose I am writing add new, add new, add new field name. If you see the syntax of add new, what is the syntax? Add new field name. So suppose the field name I am specifying payment mode. Now we all know every control break statement ends with end add. So I specified add new payment mode. Now we will understand how it will work. At new, it triggers for the first record of the group. We all know very well and we put so much stress at new field name and at end of field name always works on a group group. So at new triggers for the first record of the group having the same value for the specified field name. Which field we specified in our current requirement? Payment mode. We specified payment mode. So if I will go for that data. So how at new will work? At new works for the first record of the group having the same value for the field name. Just see in our current requirement, how many groups are there for the payment mode? This four records belongs to one group. These four records belongs to one group. These two records belongs to one group, one group. So how at new will work? At new will take the first record of this group. At new will take the first record of this group. At new will take the first record of this group. We all know it's very important to understand having the same value for the specified field name. Which field we specified? Payment mode. So for the first four records, the value is same C. For next four records, value is same D. For the next two records, value is same N. So at new 
will take the first record of every group. It means it will take this. It will take this. It will take this. Now, what is the output we want? If you see what the output we want, we want C credit card 600. We want D debit card 1400. And we want N net banking, suppose I'm saying 1000. So we want to display C, D, N, N. One time we want to display. Suppose if I will write add new payment mode. So it will take this. It will take this. It will take this. So now I will display simply C, D, and N using which particular event at new. Because you want to display C, D, and N only one time. Only one time. So we will display using at new. So at new payment mode. So I will simply, simply write what we want to write, we want to write payment mode. So your payment mode is coming into work area. So I will simply write work area hyphen payment. So what is work area payment mode? It will be C. What is work area payment mode? It will be D. What is work area payment mode? It will be N. And yes, we want C, D and N only one time at new will trigger will take the first record of the group so it will take this it will display c it will take this it will display d it will take this it will display n so this is the first part of our requirement we want c d and n now we will move on to next but the next thing we want we want to make some of amount based upon what payment mode. We want to make some of these four records based upon payment mode D. We want to make some of these two records based upon what payment mode N, based upon payment mode N. Now we will simply, simply make use of at end of field name. So firstly, I will write the logic. Then we will understand how it will work. Now I will write at end of payment mode. At end of payment mode. Now we all know every control break ends with end at. Now at end will always always work on a group yes we all know very well at end will also also work on a group but it triggers for the last record of the group having the same value for the field name which field we specified we specified payment mode so if i will see this if i will see this how at end will trigger at what time at end will trigger it will take the last record of the group having the same value for the field name which field we specified payment mode so first four records has the same value same value for the payment mode so at end will take which particular record last record of this group at end will take the last record of this group at end will take the last record of this group means at end will take this into consideration will take this into consideration will take this into consideration now whenever at end will trigger whenever at end will trigger just see, we displayed C, D, and N using which particular control break statement at end. Now we need to display 600, 1400, and 1000. How we will display? Whenever at end, 
at end will make will trigger for this at end will trigger for this at end will trigger for this so whenever at end will trigger we will make some of these four records whenever at end will trigger we will make some of these four records whenever at end will trigger we will make some of these two records now firstly i will write the logic now how to make some how to make some as of now i will write the logic and we will go for full explanation whenever you are at end will trigger i am writing a statement sum most most important statement and anyways we will go for explanation for the same whenever at end of payment mode will come we are making sum we are making sum of which particular column total amount and i am writing total amount so i will simply write write lwa underscore data hyphen what is the total amount column ta i will not use slash because slash will go to new line in front of payment mode itself we will display the sum i'll check the syntax and activate so yes whenever at end will come whenever at whenever the end of a particular group whenever the end of whenever we have the last record last record of a particular group whenever we have last record of a particular payment mode we are making sum and we are displaying that sum we are displaying that sum so now what is the summary of this particular video in this video we used two control break statements for event one is at new field name and one is at end of field name by using at new we are displaying the payment mode by using at end we are displaying the sum of total amount next video is very very important because we will understand how this sum is working we just have written this sum but how how it will make sum of the total amount column based upon group based upon group so this is our next video in the next video we will fully fully understand what is sum so that's it in this particular video